Algebra 1, Exponents and Powers. Today we're going to look at exponents application in the solving for volume. So our first example, we are to find the volume of an aquarium in the shape of an, a cube. Now if it's a cube, that means all three sides or all three lengths are equal. So the bottom has a length and width of 2.5 and 2.5 feet and the height of the aquarium is also 2.5 feet. Now typically we're going to look at the volume of a prism as length times width times height. But since this is a cube, all three sides are equal so it's side times side times side. And of course using an exponent that becomes side cubed or s to the third power. Now we substitute in the value of 2.5 feet for our s and we get 2.5 cubed and 2.5 cubed it becomes 15.625 feet cubed. So because this is a cube with all three sides being equal we can solve for the volume of the cube using the exponent s to the third or s cubed. Our next example is a piece of aluminum uh, tube and this tube happens to be a square tube and this tube has sides of 2 inches and 2 inches on the front square and the length of the tube is 12 inches. So in this case what we're looking at is we're looking at the volume of a prism being length times width times height and we know the length of the cube is different than the width and the height but the width and the height are equal being side times side so the volume of the tube becomes length times side times side which we can use an exponent to do length times side squared or length times side to the second power so plugging in our values we get 12 times 2 squared and 12 times 2 squared is 12 times 4. So our volume of this tube is 48 inches cubed, 12 times 4 being 48. And so in this case, we only use the exponent on the sides of the front of the face of the tube, and that was 2 times 2 and 2 squared. And that had to be multiplied by the length, 12, and that's where we get the volume of that square tube at 48 inches cubed. 